Hydrogen is the most abundant and cleanest fuel and will be the main energy carrier in the future. Today, the hydrogen energy chain is already clean and efficient, but there is still a need for cost reduction and efficiency improvement. Hyatt was therefore founded with one single goal, improve the economy and chain efficiency of hydrogen conversion systems. Not by developing even better fuel cell stacks or hydrogen production equipment, because this is already well taken care of by leading fuel cell and automotive companies, but by improving other parts of the hydrogen efficiency chain. Through intensive well-to-wheel analyses, we have learned that a large part of the primary energy is not lost in the fuel cell systems or in the hydrogen production system, but in other parts of the well-to-wheel energy chain. In these analyses, hydrogen compression especially caught our attention as a main cause of losses. Therefore, Hyatt's first target is efficiency improvement of hydrogen decompression. The world is facing some major problems. First, there is the air quality problem in most urban areas in the world. It is estimated that worldwide, every year, more than 4 million people die ahead of their time because of poor air quality. Harmful exhaust gases from cars, trucks, scooters and buses play a large role in this. Fuel cell cars running on hydrogen would solve this problem. Climate change is on top of the priority list of many politicians. Reduction of CO2 emission is the main measure. Hydrogen and fuel cells can contribute in different ways. Compared with the whole well-to-wheel chain, fuel cells operating on hydrogen are the most efficient chain, even more efficient than the well-to-wheel chain of battery electric cars. Higher chain efficiency means less use of fossil energy sources and less CO2 emission. With efficient pre-combustion separation and CO2 sequestration, fuel cell cars can even achieve zero emissions at minimum cost. We deplete our fossil resources in order to produce petrol and diesel. These fuels are converted in our modern cars with a well-to-wheel chain efficiency of only 17%, meaning that 83% of the primary energy is wasted somewhere along the way. Improvement of chain efficiency is necessary. Fuel cell cars running on hydrogen can have a well-to-wheel chain efficiency of 34% and more. They will not solve the problem of limited natural fossil resources, but they will certainly help to make them last longer, giving mankind time to switch to alternatives.